Well, it might be time to break out the brooms. Welcome to the Daily Sports Update presented to you by Toyota. I'm Erba Wilson. At the end of the first half of Game 3 of the Eastern Conference semifinals last night, things were looking pretty good for the Chicago Bulls. They were up by 19 points. They seemed to have that swagger that was missing in the first couple games back, and they were at home where they'd won five straight playoff games against the Detroit Pistons. But that was across the street at Chicago Stadium with a guy named Michael Jordan, and this was 2007 where there was still another half of basketball to play and where the Detroit Pistons were just too darn good. Tayshawn Prince scored 23 points, Chauncey Billups 21, and the Pistons came storming back to beat the Bulls 81-74, to burying the Bulls in a hole no NBA team has ever crawled out of, being three games to none down in a playoff series, and it looks like the Pistons have every intention of sweeping the court. Prince is the third different leading scorer for the Pistons in three games. Luol Deng led Chicago with 21 points, but that was just 8 for 22 from the field. The Bulls were 28 of 83, 33%, and still had no answer for the Pistons' zone D. But no one seemed to have any sort of answer for the Pistons this postseason. Detroit is now 7-0 in this year's playoffs. We stayed poised. We got stops. Um, we started to rebound. Um, we started to scrap. And uh, we played Piston basketball, and, and we got... You know, the game turned around and momentum started to come back to us. Now on to the Thank ice game, much. one of the Eastern Otto Conference Finals in Buffalo. Ben Senators up one nothing. Punk goes to Daniel Alfredson, fires past Ryan Miller, 2-0 Senators. But the Sabres would come back. Tony Lumen off the faceoff, walks in touch, puts one past Ray Emery. We're all tied up at two and still tied in the third. The Sabres turn the puck over in their own end. Dean McGammon finds Oleg Saprikin all alone. Senators go on to win the game 5-2. Let's take a look at some news and notes from around the world of sports. Chicago Bears defensive tackle Tank Johnson will be released from jail Sunday after serving 60 days. Then three days later, we'll meet with NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell to discuss his off-field discipline issues. Johnson has had problems with unregistered weapons and parole violations most recently. Goodell has made it very clear such issues will be dealt with by the NFL harshly. Baltimore Ravens quarterback Steve McNair was arrested and charged Thursday with driving under the influence even though he wasn't behind the wheel. Instead, his brother-in-law was driving his truck allegedly under the influence. Under Tennessee law, a vehicle owner can be charged with a misdemeanor for allowing an inebriated person to drive their car. An NFL league spokesman says it's too early to determine if McNair will suffer any punishment from the league. And the Baseball Players Union is expected to deny Senator George Mitchell's request to submit anonymous medical records to his steroid probe. The players are concerned, although the records would be anonymous, height, weight, other information could be used to connect some records to specific players. The union will leave it up to individual players to choose to submit their own medical records if they so wish. And a televised report claims that Ricky Williams tested positive for marijuana in an April drug test. Ricky Williams was suspended for the 2006 season after failing previous drug tests, and the NFL will not allow him to apply for reinstatement until September. The Dolphins have given the troubled running backs locker to third-round pick Lorenzo Booker, so it looks like Ricky Williams' days in the NFL, or at least with Miami, are numbered. That'll do it for the Daily Sports Update presented to you by Toyota. Keep your mouth speaking right here on CBSSportsLine.com for everything you need to know in the world of sports. And if you missed anything here today, don't forget to stop, refresh, and rewatch me, Amber Wilson. Have a good one.